Hi everyone. It's been a couple of weeks since I've uh, since I finished my experiment with talking to strangers. I just want you to know that I've continued to do that. It's become easier and easier. Although I've realized that not everybody is interested in talking to me the other day. I, for example, the other day I was in Starbucks and I saw a gentleman about my age, uh, maybe a couple of years older. You know, you always want to say somebody's older than you are, but he was wearing a Columbia t-shirt for Columbia University. I didn't say anything to him and then maybe uh, a few days later uh, I was in the same Starbucks, same gentleman walked in and he was wearing a um, Princeton t-shirt and I asked, I said, excuse me, but weren't you wearing a Columbia t-shirt the other day? He said, yes, and because uh, I didn't go to either of them, but uh, I have some relatives who go. And that was it. Obviously, he didn't want to talk to me anymore. And so I got the hint. And so he went back to uh, his reading. I went back to doing what I was doing. It was a little awkward since we were sitting probably two feet from each other, but uh, uh, that's the way it goes. You know, you're not going to uh, like everybody. You don't want to talk to everybody. Uh, I remember being in a bar with uh, my dad not surprising that the story about my father is that I'm in a bar with him, but um, we didn't have a chance to talk a lot. So uh, we're sitting next to each other in this bar having a conversation and there's a fellow sitting next to me and he starts talking to me. And so instead of paying attention to my father and having a nice conversation with him, uh, I'm engaged in this conversation with this guy I don't want to talk to anyway. And so my father calls me on it. He says, you know, why are you talking to him? I said, he keeps talking to me. I don't want to be rude. And he said, you don't have to talk to him. He's an asshole. And although a lot of people, according to my father, were assholes, it just stuck in my mind. That's true. You know, why should somebody take your time just because they want to talk to you? And I think all of us, you know, you may think, oh, that's pretty harsh, but we all do that now. Uh, we do that with our telephones. We have caller, if we still have a landline, we have caller ID. We don't know who you are, we're not talking. Somebody calls you on your cell phone, you make a decision. Do am I gonna talk to this person or not? You know, we're taking control of that. In the old days, gosh, uh, you know, it was Pavlov's dog. You know, the telephone rang, you were there. So not everybody's going to want to talk to you. And in reality, I don't want to talk to everybody anyway. Um, I know I was at, uh, we were at the Swiss picnic the other day and uh, uh, had a good time talking to folks. It's interesting, people who you grew up with, people, there were people there who I started kindergarten with and had gone through high school. And uh, there was a person who, I had maybe in my entire life, even though we were literally next door neighbors, uh, had maybe talked to twice in my entire life. And, but when we saw each other and we started talking, it was as if we were, you know, long lost friends, how could we catch up? But it's interesting, there is that extra connection of some sort of somebody who you knew from your youth, uh, even though the person who they may remember or who they thought they remember or whatever doesn't exist anymore. I mean, we're not the same person we were obviously when we were 10 years old, 20 years old, 30 years old. In fact, I'm going to uh, put a link on, uh, on our Facebook page to a podcast that talks about the fact that we are continually changing who we are, that, um, that if you look back, in each decade of your life, you can take a look at how much you changed between 30 and 40 and 40 and 50 and 50 and 60 and whatever. And in fact, the other interesting, one of the other interesting things about this podcast, I don't think I'm going to spoil it for you, is that um, we always underestimate how much we are going to change. But in retrospect, we do a lot of, we do do a lot of changing. And at whatever age we are, we think we're the most developed. We think we're the most, uh, we're the best. I'm the best me that I can be at this age. So 
uh, enjoy those podcasts. I think they are from uh, some TED Talks. And um, it's good to be back. Be looking forward to having these little chats with you. Have a great day.